some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in Arizona where Katie Hobbs has been elected governor and today is her inauguration day. But there's a guy who wants to enjoy the park, but it's been closed off due to the inauguration, but he refuses to leave. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hello, brothers and sisters. It's June 5th, 2021. I'm here out of the private property area. I'm a progressive independent. I'm not doing anything. I was just watching the inauguration from outside of the double layer fence. Outside the fence and these two nice officers, they've been ordered to tell me I can't be here and I wanna know what, okay, so officer, what's going on? Why can't I be here? So this private event is actually permitted for Wesley Boland to include the Capitol grounds. So therefore anybody that's not ticketed for this area to be in the event, we're asking to go to a public space located on Adams or Jefferson. So I'm not allowed. This is Wesley Boland Plaza, taxpayer funded. I've been coming to the legislature for 12 years. I'm here in peace. I'm not protesting. I'm a citizen who voted for Katie Hobbs. The fence, double layer fences, I'm not going in there. It says private property right here. And yet brothers and sisters, I'm being told that I can't even stand out in the parking lot as a progressive independent. Did you not hear the cops? There are two areas you can go to that are available to you if you are not ticketed. This is for the safety of the governor because there are a lot of people out there that want to do harm to uh, government officials. And this kind of thing is not unique to this one situation. Do you think you can just walk up to the President of the United States during his inauguration? I don't think so. I wasn't even bothering anybody. And the state police are telling me I have to leave. So Katie Hobbs, they're saying Katie Hobbs, they're saying this whole area. Dr. Martin Luther King, co-talkers, my friend who was killed in Iraq on the monument. Two of my friends, public area, and I'm not allowed here. So I'm, I'm told that I have to go out of there. I can't see outside the event, so I'm not allowed to do that. We are asking the public that there's not tickets, that they cannot be inside the plaza during the event. So this says, uh, thank you, officer. This says state property. No trespassing inside. You have double layer fencing. You're letting people walk through the sidewalk. So I'm being told on a public property here, this, that's inside. That's the plaza. I'm over here where publicly funded monuments are at. Code Talkers, Father Kino, all of them. I'm being told as a citizen... I'm not protesting. I'm being quiet. I'm just here to observe this democratic great event, you know, that's going on. So now I'm being told that the whole capital is private property. For we understand the issue and we also understand that you can come back another day if you want to enjoy the park. Or if you're there to see the inauguration, there are designated areas you can go to. The Katie Hobbs event. And I am a supporter of Katie Hobbs. So, who gave you these orders? That is coming directly from Katie Hobbs in a, uh, group, as well as it's through our Department so, of Public Safety chain of command. So, Katie Hobbs is the one who has told you that I, as a, a quiet citizen who voted for Katie Hobbs, she has, there's nothing taking place out there. It, it boils down to if you wanted to see the event, we had to, you have to have a ticket. Well, is this your supervisor? Because I'd like to see if maybe he could explain to me. Hello, Captain. How are you doing? Good morning. How are you? Well, my name's Leonard Clark. I voted for Katie Hobbs. I see your private property signs. I'm not going in. I'm a progressive, independent, sometimes Democrat. Over here is a publicly funded area that's fenced off showing that that's her area. But you're telling me that the publicly funded Dr. Martin Luther King monument, the monument, I see the Iraq monument where my... The whole, the whole park is, sir. Two of my friends are on there. And I, who I voted for, I'm not even in there interrupting their event. I'm out here. I see right through your victimhood complex, dude. It's not about you. It's all about the safety of the government officials there right now. So if you want to keep this up, I'm sure they'll be happy to take you to jail. This is their this is their rules. So, so who, part of their, who is there? Who's giving the, the orders? The governor's staff. 
So Katie Hobbs is telling me, Leonard Clark, as a progressive independent, that and that it's correct. not you, you guys. You can't stand here right now. If you'd like to watch from the corner of Adams and 17th Avenue, you're more than welcome. I'm not protesting. I'm not doing that's anything. A, we're not saying you're protesting. protesting but so if you'd citizens, like to watch over there, that's This fine. is publicly funded right here. I'm not that's in your fine. event. That's the double fenced area. And that says private This is a privately funded event. Yeah, but this is a public they, park. They've got a My permit tax dollars pay for this. They got a permit for They're the not park. out in the park. It's fenced. They got a permit for the park. So because I don't have a ticket as a progressive. I can't go in. That's fine. I understand that. I was, was peaceful. Name? My name is Leonard Clark. I've been coming here for 12 Leonard, years and not ever, what. even when I'll John Brewer was you've governor. Been, you've been told we need you to exit. And if you have any concerns, you can contact her office. Well, you know, I'm starting to think that I think constitutionally this is a, a, a this is illegal. Sir, can you tell me specifically which one of your uh, rights is being violated? Is it press, religion? Speech, redress, or assembly. I'm not with Jan I'm not with anybody. I support Katie Hobbs. I voted for her. I'm out here peacefully you watching. That you, your private you property sign here says this. Leonard, this is your warning. Okay, you have to exit. On the order of yeah, Katie yeah, Hobbs. Yeah, yeah, you have to exit. This is a privately. Could I ask them if I could get a ticket? That there's no more tickets available. They stopped. So they stopped. You are 100% sure, officer. There's no tickets. I am 100% sure. So this whole area the, that's the not being used. The website to obtain a ticket uh, was discontinued last night. All right. So let's so, grab your let's grab your stuff. Well, I want to make clear one that, more time. Okay. Let's just we, we, so there's no misunderstanding. I Katie agree. Hobbs has ordered that I, a citizen, well, I, I'm Leonard ordering Clark, you right now that if you don't leave. We're going to trespass you. You'll be arrested for trespassing. Because this is private because property. This, this is ticketed. The, this is the, the, the code talkers, Father Kino, where the, I can see the, the monument Wesley, where West, my two brothers West. died. He doesn't seem to get the point that this isn't about him or his political views or anything like that. It's about the safety of the elected officials that are there that day. So I would say it's about time for the cuffs to come out because these guys have been more than patient with him. In Wesley Iraq, Bowling right over Plaza there. Is. Wesley Plaza. The USS Arizona so let's exhibit. Let's grab your stuff and let's go. Okay, what is your name, sir? Robert Brunet, badge four nine six six. And I'm not, I'm not hassling you, but nope. But we, we it's time can to you go. confirm with them that I can't be here? We've already confirmed with them. So they complained. Okay. Katie Hobbs no, staff they complained. They complain. Grab your stuff, Leonard. Let's go. Hey, I supported Katie Hobbs. Am I allowed to at least watch the event from the outside? Now you're starting to become right, a democracy that you said you are. Let's go. Grab your stuff. Grab now, you know what? Let's Maybe go. I should be cited for trespassing okay. because I would like to let Katie Hobbs know that one no. of her support, I'm standing out. There's no. No, no. no we're, we're exiting out here. Let's go. Let's go. You know what? I think maybe it is time. This is unconstitutional. This whole area is taxpayer funded. No, no. So you can see the officers are grabbing me. Wow, I voted for Katie Hobbs and I can't watch the event. Wow, they're putting me in an arm bar. I'm going. Yes, frauditor. Yes, frauditor. There were several places you could have gone other than there to watch the whole event take place. They told you where you could stand several times. But yet, you had to keep pushing and pushing until you were in handcuffs. I wonder if you've been acting this stupid your whole life. How many times have you been arrested in your entire life and act like a victim every time you do?